We've come a long way in recent years in terms of paleontology. With recent revelations in technology, we've been able to depict dinosaurs as living, breathing animals, and not just movie monsters. We have produced accurate ideas on how dinosaurs lived their lives, what they ate, and how they interacted with their environments. We even know the colors and feather patterns of some species. But what about intelligence? Can we be certain what was going through a dinosaur's mind on a day-to-day -day basis, or exactly what kinds of thoughts a dinosaur was capable of producing? These are questions that, similar to the physical forms of dinosaurs, have undergone scrutiny, debate, and in-depth conversation over the years. Today, we will be taking our own look at the brains of several species of dinosaur, determining which groups were potentially the most intelligent, and which ones may have been less so. Join us as we take a trip through time to enter the minds of dinosaurs, to determine who may have been the smartest of all. Firstly, it is important to note one thing. Intelligence is a very difficult attribute to measure when paleontologists cannot observe the animal in question as a living being. Speculation and paleoart can only take us so far when discussing dinosaur brains and intelligence. So many theories on the topic have sprung from looking at dinosaur brain size in relation to body size. The wider skeletons themselves are just as good of an indicator of dinosaur intelligence as the brain cavities, as they can imply behavioral quirks and habits. We now know, for example, that some dinosaurs such as ceratopsians and hadrosaurs lived in groups. While complexities cannot be discerned, we know that these dinosaurs must have had some kind of social structure along with communicative abilities to warn and signal to other individuals. We know that some dinosaur species were capable of producing complex calls, similar to the way that modern dinosaurs, birds, do today. It would have taken a degree of intelligence to be able to produce and recognize the calls made by members of the same species, even if that intelligence was not on par with, say, the primates of the modern day. Dinosaur intelligence is still something that many paleontologists are just beginning to grasp, and we cannot say for certain exactly how intelligent individual dinosaur species were at this time. While paleontologists are yet to discover accurate means of testing dinosaur intelligence, there are still plenty of theories as to which groups of dinosaurs were the smartest. Any foray into the IQ of dinosaurs will likely land an article about Truodon, a small bird-like theropod from the late Cretaceous of North America. Truodon is famous amongst the dinosaurs for having the largest brain-to-body ratio of all genera, which has led to many theories that place this animal and its relatives as the smartest of their kind. Truodon's brain was proportionally larger than those of living reptiles and most birds, and several arguments exist as to why it may have been particularly clever. Firstly, Truodon was an agile and nimble hunter. In the late Cretaceous forests, it would have sped through the undergrowth after mammals and reptiles, using its flexible forearms to grab and manipulate its victims. It is thought to have been a primarily nocturnal hunter, with large eyes that faced forward, allowing it to perceive its surroundings particularly well. Scientists also believe that Truodon utilized a different method of rearing its young, producing two eggs at intervals, incubating them in nests dug out from the earth. They are thought to have been dedicated and vigilant carers for those eggs, sitting on them to warm them with body heat and defending the nest from potential thieves until the young hatched. Moreover, these nesting sites may have formed communities of Truodon, rearing their young in small colonies similar to some modern birds. 
All of these traits are indicative of an animal that would have been a cut above its peers in terms of intelligence. But there is more research to be done if we are to say that for sure. The dromaeosaurs are often considered to be intelligent animals, at least when compared with other dinosaur species. While Jurassic Park attempted to showcase its dromaeosaurs as hyper-intelligent, almost sapient hunters, the reality was much more tame. Evidence points towards the possibility that animals such as Velociraptor and Deinonychus may have hunted in packs to bring down larger prey items, a behavior that would be indicative of intelligence. Pack hunting would imply strategic planning, a sense of timing and enhanced communicative capabilities within members of the same species. Which points to these small, feathered theropods potentially standing out in terms of prehistoric intelligence. Some larger theropods, such as Allosaurus of the Jurassic of North America, have also been proposed throughout history as pack hunters. Depictions show these large carnivores working together to overpower the large sauropods of the Morrison Formation, utilizing their powerful jaws and claws to inflict heavy bleeding damage on their opponents. While this is not yet proven, pack hunting capabilities in larger dinosaurs could have indicated a greater degree of intelligence. Interestingly, despite all of the studies that have taken place on its brain and cognitive capabilities, Tyrannosaurus is often left out of conversations discerning dinosaur intelligence. While studies on the Tyrant Lizard King's brain have not led to any revelations surrounding higher thinking, scientists have been able to prove that Tyrannosaurus and its relatives had extremely keen senses. Binocular vision, granted by forward-facing and wide-set eyes, would have given Tyrannosaurus great depth perception, able to spot prey over long distances of open land. Moreover, it boasted a keen sense of smell, with advanced olfactory lobes and genes that would have allowed Tyrannosaurus to detect a carcass from a great distance. Additionally, the animal had an impressive sense of hearing, with particularly long bones in the inner ear that would have allowed it to hear sounds at very low frequencies. Combine this with the fact that the animal was an adept communicator, capable of producing a wide range of calls and sounds across different stages of its life. And you have an albeit unconventionally intelligent animal. Again, this question can be difficult to answer. Hundreds of dinosaur genera are known to science, many only from very fragmentary remains so there's no way of knowing exactly what the least intelligent of the group may have been. As before, it can be hinted at or inferred, but no concrete conclusion can be made. As true Odon is usually labeled the smartest dinosaur, you will likely find from a quick Google search that Stegosaurus has been dubbed the least intelligent. Many outdated arguments for this note Stegosaurus's walnut-sized brain, extremely small in comparison to the rest of its body. Interestingly, this is a misconception. Stegosaurus and its relatives thrived for millions of years throughout the Jurassic period and were one of the most successful groups of herbivores around at this time. There must have been some degree of intelligence present within these animals, or else they would not have been able to survive for as long as they did. Brain size on its own is not a particularly good indication of IQ, and it is safer to examine Stegosaurus's brain structure and behavior. Unfortunately, due to the fact that Stegosaurus's brain tissue has not been preserved in the fossil record, these are things we cannot observe in the modern day. Throughout history, dinosaurs have been portrayed as dumb, sluggish, swamp-dwelling reptiles who dragged their tails along the ground as they walked on lumbering, pillar-like legs. Even the speedy, bipedal theropods have been portrayed this way in the past. But quadrupedal ornithischians such as the Stegosaurus and Ceratopsians have faced the worst of it. 
In times gone by, it was common thinking that an animal only needed to be more intelligent than the food it was eating, which in Ornithischian cases is plants. Theoretically, because herbivorous dinosaurs were primitive animals who did not need to outsmart prey, they must have been dumb. This could not be further from the truth. Herbivores, even the dinosaurs of Earth's ancient past, would have needed to outsmart the predators preying upon them, whilst keeping themselves alive by finding enough food, communicating with members of the same species, and attracting a mate. All complex animal life requires intelligence to some extent, but it only takes one look at modern herbivores to disprove these old theories on dinosaur intelligence. Elephants, gorillas, orangutans, manatees, some species of rodent, and several species of herbivorous bird are some of the most intelligent organisms alive today, and all of them primarily eat plant matter. To portray herbivorous dinosaurs as unintelligent makes as much sense as doing the same with these animals. Modern dinosaurs, the birds, are amongst the most intelligent species of animal alive today. Members of the family Corvidae, the crows, magpies, ravens, and jays, stand out as some of the brightest sparks in the avian world and have been known to perform amazing cognitive feats. Corvids across the world have been observed crafting hooked tools from twigs to help them spear insects from inside trees and nests, something that is primarily associated with great apes. They can easily mimic human speech, identify individual people who have previously acted poorly towards them, use expressions and gestures for communicative purposes, and have excellent memories. Corvid brains are tightly packed with neurons that communicate well with one another, allowing for advanced intelligence not seen in many other bird species. Another group of modern dinosaurs that comes to mind when discussing intelligence are the parrots. The African gray parrot is commonly considered to be the most intelligent bird species showing the reasoning capabilities of a three-year-old human child. They have been shown to be able to make rational choices based on complex information, and even seem to have a basic grasp on counting and numbers. Outside of parrots and corvids, other groups of birds that have proven to possess higher levels of intelligence include falcons, pigeons, cormorants, owls, ibises, starlings, and hawks, amongst many others. They may not be able to build cities or think philosophically, but topics like this beg an interesting question. In a world without humans and primates, would birds rise to sapience? Overall, we cannot be certain just how intelligent dinosaurs were. But then again, there were most likely drastically varying levels between species, just as there are with modern animals. It makes sense to point towards small, social omnivores and predators as being the most intelligent dinosaurs, due to their ways of life and the demands of their environments. But without proper fossil content, which is extremely rare, we cannot say for certain. Perhaps one day, if the proper content is discovered and modern technology advances suitably, we may know for certain just how clever some dinosaur species were. <laughs>